Okay, it's coffee time at the parents' house. Okay, as you can tell, I have a different background here. I'm at the parents' house visiting, and um, I thought it would be nice to go outside and make a video of my thrift haul. Me and Mom were out thrifting yesterday. You may have noticed this really, really... Well, I went to bought this because my theory is all designer purses are guilty until proven innocent. I've noticed this was really well done and it had some of the signature mark. It, it All the hardware is marked. I mean, even the back of the little zipper is marked Gucci. So, but I did research it and it is a really, really good fake. And actually I want to use it myself. So that's going to be okay. I paid Seven fifty half off to be precise, because when I got up to the cashier, they were letting us draw discount out of a bowl, and I drew fifty percent. My mom drew forty percent. So there's that. My really cute messenger bag from Gucci. Not next. I always pick up these box purses. This is a newer reproduction type. But people collect these. It's it's really cheesy. But it's super cute. Uh-oh, something fell. My glasses fell. It's well made. I don't see a signature on it. Oh, wait. No, that's not a signature. I'll look better. Here's a pair of gently used Birkenstocks that fit me. I might keep them. I have on my strawberry ones. Anyways, I might keep these. Now here's something interesting. These are some kind of vintage foo-foo dogs. I'm not sure. Um, now, if you get something like this, they're either really, really valuable or they're a nice profit. So I picked them up either way. And like I said, I got half price. These were in the case. And they had 25 on the large one and 12 on the little guy. And I got half off, so I lucked out there. Here I have a neat carved maybe I would say it's Thai I'm not sure I'll have to research this I thought that was a really neat rustic piece there's the back well, this was kind of a fun find what you're saying what why did she buy these plastic beads from the 60s or 70s. Well, these are polyurethane, still in the box from Sears. I got four boxes and all these packages for maybe a total of $5. These are kind of those doorway beads or hippie beads, uh, polyurethane. It's better if they're more ornate. These will, These are surprisingly worth more than you think. So, I know. And these are the true vintage polyurethane beads for your doorway. Let's see what else it says. There's two different kinds here. 
There's these. So these are pretty neat. These might be black. So that was surprising to find. Now well, here's a really beautiful scarf from M-O-S-I. Uh, I just bought it because I thought the pattern, it's in great condition and the pattern's really nice. I have to research this. And here I bought some vintage Halloween items, some yard art. I have one, two, three, I don't need to keep counting. There's those. I'm going to sell those most likely in a lot as well. I already listed the invitations. Next, I have this vintage purse. It's marked Made in Japan on the inside. I always pick up the vintage purses. At least there's not going to be a counterfeit one. And here's an old, another one of those things when you research it, the price is all over the board. I've seen these from 45 to 185. So I don't know what the differences are, but I probably have the $45 one. I don't know what this was on there. It has a lot of character though. And here I have, and I, only, I don't normally pick these up unless they have a cute costume on, and he does. So I bought him. And what else do I have? Here's a really pretty piece of fabric with dragons on it. I don't know anything about it, I just thought it was a really beautiful piece of fabric. Here's a Zental piece. I'll show you the mark. It's actually marked twice. The interesting thing about this was looking at the chain and the tag because it had a Joan Rivers tag on it. So I thought this was a Joan Rivers piece, but apparently they put a Joan Rivers chain and it matched really well with a Zental pendant. So that's something to watch out for. I'm still happy with my purchase and I would have bought it anyways. I have to research this. I would put 35 or more on this. So there's my eclectic haul. A couple lessons a couple lessons learned are check your chains to make sure they match your pendants. And all designer purses are guilty until proven innocent. But I'm really happy with this haul. Thanks for stopping by. Please give me a thumbs up and follow if you liked this video. Bye now. Stay safe and get listing.